Hey everyone, this is the Dandy Man, and welcome back. Today we're playing a new game called Tales of Wuxia, which I want to try because I like the Wuxia novels. And for those of you who don't know, Wuxia novels are essentially like martial arts novels. It's a genre that comes from China, Japan, Korea, like Asia. Where essentially someone from... Like, you cultivate the world energies, bring it into yourself, and you're a martial arts cultivator, and you keep getting stronger and stronger until you're essentially, you can manipulate that energy and become not quite gods, but something pretty close. And I've been reading a lot of those novels, and I found this game when it first, or around when it first came out, and it looked really interesting. I wanted to give it a try. However, I don't know if it was made in Japan or China. I think it's China that made this. Made in China and then was just poorly translated to America or to English by a fan or if they decided to do it and they and they just did a very bad job of it because it's a very open world game. However, when I played it before, I kept getting texts that were still in Chinese kanji, and I can't read that. I'm trying to. That'd be cool to learn, but I can't read that. So, and there were also strange little glitches s strewn about. So, I don't know if it's just like a poor rendition going to America, or what happened, but it, it wasn't done very, done very well. So, I sat back, and I given it like a couple months to fix itself and there's been an update recently so I figured let's give it a try and we're gonna name our character so in Japan China Asia not all of Asia but I think in China as well I know Japan does it I don't know about I'm not a hundred percent about China but I think I think China too because a lot of the Wuxia novels I've been reading online came from it uh, their last name comes first. So, our surname is going to be Lin, and our name is going to be... Let's just do Wong, because I can't think of a good one. It's going to be Noob, because I'm still not 100% on this game. So, our, so, we are Lin Wong. And we press space to roll attributes and all this stuff. Does something. This is critical hits. This is evasion. Flexibility. Defense. Hexes we can move because it's all the tiles look like this. They're either this or they're uh, heptagons. I think is for six sided. They're they're not octagons. Well, they're either. No, they might look like this. This might be what they look like. Or they're the ones with only six sides. So, this is how many of those you can move. So that makes it less blocky and more flowing. Internal styles, this is condition for learning high level ones. This is how much damage you do, like your base damage, and this is how much is reduced. Everything. And then you got like other skills like mining, teaism, which is like literally that you make tea, smithing, cooking, alchemy, fishing, all that good stuff. And then you got other like little skills. I don't quite know what these are for because I only played a little bit and found some major problems before I stopped. So I don't. I'm not quite sure what these are, but like it's painting, medicine. I know poison might be useful later on. This is your base health, your base energy, your comprehension. The higher these are, the higher your comprehension. I think the faster you go. And then you get three talents, and a picture of what every of what you look like every time you pop up on screen. So I think we're gonna go with this guy because that just looks derpy. That looks brooding. Maybe that one. Okay, what what should we make his talents? So these will be big ones. Let's say smart. Monogamous tax make you bored and feel low. This increases your 
gain of XP for sight and hearing and your crit rate and evasion rate go up. And the higher sense, the higher justice you have, the higher your damage. Hmm, casual bearing. Oh, what's this? Oh, so these are maxed out. So I guess 30 is the highest you can get on something when you start. And this is a martial arts game, so you want good these stats, but you also want something good up here. Leveling. Don't know the meaning of mercy and drives other kinds of pleasure from other suffering. The lower your morale, then the higher damage you deal. The leading breed big brother, the higher your reputation, the more confident you get. So, malevolent, chivalrous. Is that the only three you get? Hmm. It looks like the only three you get. That's interesting. So there's like, is there three for each of these? No, there's more for this talent. And looks like there's only smart and industrious for the top one. Let's see what's industrious. You like monotonous tasks, so you like things that you repeat over and over and over again. Other tasks makes you uneasy and you worsen your mood. Alright, well... Our health 640... Comprehension is down. No, we want something with good comprehension. Not malevolent. I like the leading brother. That's just your reputation. You don't have to be good or bad. Just get a good rep going. See more affection for female characters. And so the greater sum, the larger the bonus. So this one, I flirt with everybody? I make everyone like me? Got good counter rate for that one. Good defense. Not good attack and... Oh god, our infernal style sucks. I don't like the chivalrous and malvern because I don't like leading myself with that. Industrious. Nimble and escaping. Ooh, that's good. Harvesting, fishing, mining, Taoism, cooking... Toughness, quick gong, internal styles, attack, defense, sight, hearing. I think this is the build we're gonna do. We got 700 base health, our comprehension is 23, energy is 269. We're industrious, so we like monotonous stats, so essentially like swinging a sword up and down over and over. We're nimble. You can gain 50% more XP for Quinn Gong, so like I guess we can jut around the field faster later on. And our invasion rate goes up, which could be good because we don't have that good of an invasion rate right now. But we know nothing about T. <laughs> We're a failure as a nation. Because <laughs> they all have tea ceremonies. And, well, I'm not sure about Korea. I know China and Japan do. And like those are the two big ones. Chinese and Japan both have big tea. Are big tea drinkers. I'm not sure about Korea. Or Cambodia. Actually, I think Cambodia does. I have a friend who's C Cambodian. Oh! Well, the graphics... Are a little... No, the graphics haven't changed that much. They look like the early days of Warcraft. So this is it. Once I get through the Sanctuary Head, I can get back to the place I came from. Been a good ride! And now we must part ways. Farewell, nobody. His name's nobody? They haven't changed that. Is that just because no one knows his name? One, please say hello to Mr. Jing for me, no problem. So I guess this is the big background. So I'm gonna have a nice bowl of stirred fried rice with pig's feet. Eh. They do have some out there tastes over there, but then again, if you if they look at our perspective, we look pretty weird too. Like a hot dog is American as all hell, but if you, other people look at it, it's nasty. So I can I can kind of see food everywhere is weird to food in other places. Like it's just all weird food. It seems to be the center of the sanctuary. According to Naxian, I just need to place the 14 books of mystery upon these stone pillars to 
so that I can go back. But it doesn't feel right. It feels like something is missing. Oh, it's an ambush. I'm calling it now. Ambush. This happens all the time in Wuxia. He goes into a situation where he's just about to win, and then something he gets a sixth sense kind of tingles, and there's a giant ambush, and he's surrounded by a bunch of powerful people, and he fights them all off. And since this is the beginning of the game, I'm betting he loses, and either the guy we play is his reincarnation, or we find something that belonged to him. And, like, it helps us cultivate, because that, that's usually what ends up happening. We, yep, he's surrounded by a lot of people. Look at all these people. Can we, like, become all of their... I knew it, there was a greater bound near the end of the story. Boy, you must have learned some secret arts from the 14 books of mystery that have become so incredibly strong. Zoo, the union leader. Master of the Iron Palm Clan. Tell us a secret or, or what. We can beat each other and every one of you. You don't stand a chance. So are these like all people we can meet later on in the game? That would be cool. We're no match for you in single combat. What, what if it's ten of us fighting against you together? No way. Don't have a different reputation to maintain. Think about how people are going to look at you if they find out what you're about to do. We've come too far to be hindered by such trivial concerns. Besides, no one will know what happens today once you die. DIE! Mr. Morong, I thought we were friends to the death. Have you forgotten our friendship? Or I, it was I who found the Imperial Jade Seal for you. You and that damn brat Duan Yu are like flies that won't leave my sister alone. I should have killed you alone. Oh, so he doesn't like that his sister's being courted by two different guys. He is the Siskon overly protective brother type. And how heartless of you. And I see Buddha's bringing Mohawks back. Good to know we've infected their culture too. Oh my god, look at that hat. Oh, <laughs> well, he's got he's got the Fu Manchu beard and the eyebrows, the old man eyebrows. Every now and then you come to my Julin temple and start troubling wondering many of my disciples will never be able to fall asleep at night if I let you get away today. Come on, I was merely training and useless amongst for you because they obviously not an adequate master. Oh, oh. Making wounds and pouring salt, buddy. You're surrounded. It's best to just attack and sneak attack. Gunsung the Valley Master. Enough talking, we'll get this over. After we force his hand, the book so he's gonna make him scream. Then we'll discuss what to do next. Alright, come at down. Let's finish this quickly. Every one second of my time is worth more than what they can make in <laughs> Yeah, there goes the arrogance. Yeah, that's Wuxia right there. Main character, plot armor. Surrounded by bad guys. No way out. He pulls off a super move and blasts them all to pieces. God, I love it. So press C to open the character stat stream. I like the background, like, and the music in this. In the Battle of the Sanctuary, our hero Nobody defeated ten villains and... Wu Lin and claimed the title of the world's strongest, but no one in Jiang Hu has seen him since. Ha ha ha, 1 versus 10, is this kind of sign? Bingo. Boring Feng Chu. Oh god, that is a slime ball if I ever see one. Look at that! He is obviously gonna try and sleaze something. He is going to sleaze something. I don't know what. Why are you laughing so loudly? Is my story really funny? Lin Wong. I'm very sorry. I... Why isn't there a space in there? Okay, they need to make it so that there's automatically a space in there. In the next update. So if you're... Nobody is my favorite. Especially the part you just told where he fought the ten villains in the sanctuary. I've been admiring nobody since I was a small boy. All those years ago, there were so many great martial artists in Wulin. But nobody came out top with a self-taught... Finger-guessing Quan and became leader of Wulin. Then he disappeared. Faded into an neural myth. I was so deeply... So I thought nobody himself. So he thought he was nobody himself. 
Oh, so I was it just like a dream, like a fantasy we were having in the opening sequence? I was just kidding. I sense great aspiration in your last for me. One day you will become a great hero like nobody. Thanks for the kind words. In fact, I don't live in this village. I'm passing through to admire the heroic statue of nobody in Ling. Nobody has to be like an actual name, because I know a lot of names mean things. And that could have just been one of the ones that got translated by mistake. Then I will join a sect, receive training in martial arts, and become a great Zia that helps the weak and punishes the weak. Yeah, like that's a martial arts thing, Zia. Or Xia. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Zeus Yu. The roaming storyteller. I'm writing about very strange and unusual affairs in the book entitled The Woolenpedia. May I have your name, please? Maybe one day I'll write about you in the book as well. I am Lin Wong. Please meet you. There you go. I write a bi the biography of Lin Wong, the great Zia. Always flatter. One more. Bao Wan here. One more. We need to hurry. We have plenty of good stories and few... Zhu, which we are not going to tell next. Nobody raise, raise, raising the roof of Jewelon Temple. Nobody swearing brotherhood with the old urchin in the Valley of Flowers, or nobody fighting Dang Fang Bu Bai, the old lady man. How about na nobody discovering the mysterious backyard in Shaolin Temple? Okay, everyone, many years ago. Okay, so they're all nobody stories. Bandits are coming. Take a breath. The 13 geese of Shanghai. And the gangs. Who would name their clan? By the way, nice music. I'm feeling a stirring need to watch Kung Fu Panda because this is actually good. Little jarring in places, but. So I'll take them on. I'm getting reckless. Don't forget to follow said. He'll get mad if we interfere. In the local affairs. So he's not from around here. I'm so bored. So these two are probably powerful cultivators that don't want to get in deal with little villages. Everyone ran away. All those geeks really scared. I better run too. Story tell you better. Are we a bit of an airhead? Like he was talking to himself and then no one was around and... Man, look at these graphics. Know what these, you know what these graphics remind me of? RuneScape. God, I haven't played RuneScape in forever. Red front play side. Queely. I bet that's a girl we can... We can save and romance later. That's always one. We save her. She falls in love. Damn, as a Zia, I cannot possibly sit down. I must find and rescue the girl. Get the girl! It is my martial arts honor. Don't come any closer, you vile bandits. Hmm, even a little brat like you must have heard of a certain geese of Shanghai. If you know what's good for you, come with us peacefully, and I, Kui Ba, guarantee that no harm will come to you. Never, what do you want of me? You have a little boy called Guan Wei, who is son of. Okay, I thought it had name there. Son of the head of the Shanghong Security Escorts. The biggest security escorts eight in Luba, isn't that right? Boyfriend? What, what boyfriend? Wei and I are really growing up together. Nothing more. Details. The items trusted in our care is of great importance to me. Once I hold you hostage, I can force him to hand over the item. Consider it a favor for we will settle this without using violence and hurting your little boyfriend. If you don't comply, I'm afraid Shanghong Security Escorts will suffer great loss. Think about the safety of your little boyfriend and come with me. All this talk just shows that you're afraid of Shanghong Escorts, so you decide to kid at me to gain leverage. How despicable. He's a villain and a bandit, so... Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. What you say doesn't matter. Since you don't want to come peacefully, we'll just have to make you scream. Don't come in here. Somebody help me. And they actually use that line. Hold it right there, you villains. That is such a... How dare you mess with our business? Who the hell are you? I am Lin Wong. But no, though now just nobody, I'll become a famous great Zia. I'm just picturing Ash Ketchum going, 
One day I'll be the greatest Pokemon master in the world. What do you have now? A Pikachu. <laughs> really, like he was boastful, arrogant. Miss Run, I'll hold him off. He's a brave little kid. I don't need to win, I just have to fight as a man. No, as a great Zeo, there are fights that I just can't run away from. Good on you, Lin Wong. People say newborn cows are not afraid of tigers. I do admire courage, but in Zheng Hu, you can't survive with courage alone. I shatter your dreams of greatness myself. Damn it, I'll just kill you or die trying. Well, he's a brave kid. He can be oh, now we get combat. I'll give you one more chance to get out of my will make you suffer. Never, I'd rather die than give in to evil bullies. That girl is just a stranger to you. You don't have to die for her. If you die, you are going to live a laughable dream. My dream is to become a great Zia, respected by all, and now I am living my dream. No errant will turn their back to this. People need if I run today. I feel like there was supposed to be another slide after that. Oh. Well spoken, I am Gu Yusan. Hearing your words, I already see you as my friend. But Gu Husung, the senior discipline of Xiao Yao Valley? Yeah, I'm butchering these names because I'm not Chinese and I can't and I can only do the bad American accent of uh, Kui Ba. Is it Ba or Bai? I've de I've defeated the rest of your lot. Don't even think about hurting anyone today as long as I'm here. You defeated eight of my men all by yourself? You think you can fool me with your ridiculous bluffing? I don't... I believe it. I f you'll find out soon enough if I'm bluffing. Buddy, just stand behind and leave everything to me. Yes, yeah, this will... Okay, so it is... Uh... Not hexagon. Heptagon. No, it is hexagon. Hepta is... Is seven-sided. So it's... Penta... Hexa. So yeah, six-sided... Six sided uh, turn combat. So, what's this? Huh. We can hit all three of these guys, so we're gonna go do that. Is it this one? No, that's one. What about, uh, this has gotta be the kick. Here we go. There are some strategies you can employ during combat attack foes head on, and you strikes are more likely to be evaded. That's why you should try to flank them or tag them from behind to maximize combat efficiency. Oh, so it is where I have to move side to side to hit someone. So if I go head on, it's not very good. So after like what? Oh, good counter. So they'll head on. Martial arts training. I learned some moves from local performers in my village, but I've never faced anyone in real combat. So no, I basically know nothing about the martial arts world. Then listen carefully to what I'm going to say and see if you can learn something from it. Okay. During combat, your energy move costs you a certain amount of energy. Or every move costs you energy. When your energy drops zero, you are significant weaker. Energy and health by rest, you can restore energy and health by rest. Enjoying yourself with small dogs, such arrogance. Yeah. You may want to come at me whenever you want. So what I want to do is I want to go here. Because it's not, it'll be, it won't be head on then. It'll come from the side. And this guy is fast enough. He, he can just move all the way over here and then punch a guy. But he's also much stronger than. Like look at that, three thousand and fourteen hundred energy. Oh, he can do it again. Well, this is easy. We're also fighting with someone who's been probably training for years. Due to the train environment, you may find it difficult to see your enemies, so you can rotate with Q and E. As for move selection, it's 1, 2, and 3. Alright, so... Q and E. Alright, time for some strategy. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna punch you. And we're gonna have him go here, behind him, and punch you. And there you go! And our health increased by four, energy increased by four, attack increased by two, and defense increased by one. And our overall combat increased by five. Uh, 
Okay, that's a creepy man. I want a mask like that. That is that is a martial artist right there. Mr. Goo, thank you so much for subduing the 13 geese of Shangbai. You're welcome. I just did what I should, and I can't take all the credit. We should also thank Lin for stepping toward bravery and stalling them until I got here. His courage is admirable. Well, I'm kind of embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing, actually, because I didn't stand a chance against them. Were not for Goo, I would have been dead already. Martial arts skills can be gained through training, but chivalrous hearts are few and far between. That, that's true. Couldn't have put it better myself. Yeah, China puts a or Wuxia puts a lot on chivalry. It's actually kind of surprising. I need to send them back to Yemen, if you'll excuse me. Farewell. Alright. Everything is fine as long as you're okay. We both owe it to you or save your haha. Don't call me that. I truly admire your courage and see you as my friend. It's so natural that friends help each other. Yeah, they also make friends really quickly in Wuxi. It's kind of strange. I don't know if it's like it's because it's all honor based or what, but it's my great honor to become friends for a great hero like you, Goo. Is that supposed to be like Guy or you or something like that? I've heard Wei mention Yao Yao Valley before. He spoke highly of you in terms of martial arts and moral integrity. Now I can see he was right all along. I'm honored to be held in high regard by the young master of Xing Hong security escorts. You are Lin Wong, right? Correct. Lin Wong is indeed my name. You don't any know any martial arts yet. You speak like a Zia and Yang Yu. I do appreciate and you try to save me, but you really could have gotten yourself killed. Eh, I didn't give it much to thought back there. I just saw a girl in danger and felt the urge to step forward. And in fact, my legs are still trembling now when I think about just what happened. Yeah? Lee? Where are you? Go on hand. Wait. So that's the boyfriend? You're gonna struggle if I let Wei see me. He'll bombard me with questions. I must go now. My name is Kui Lee. I, like, I didn't know that before. Everyone calls me Lee. If... You visit Liao Yang, be sure to stop by. My father and I usually perform on the stage. Oh, so she's a performer. I'll treat you to a feast when you come by. Ha ha ha. I'm going there to admire the statue of nobody the hero. Are you going to Long to run errands for my master? How about we team up and go there together? I'll stick around Dukong Village for a little bit to see if there's anything interesting. Are you in a hurry? The Hour of Shen. So we're gonna hang around till the hour of Shen and then leave for Yao Lao Yang. All right. Oh, and I guess this will show us when it's the hour of Shen. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna hold it off for now, guys. I'm glad to be starting a new game, another one that looks like it might be really interesting, and I like how it's gonna be open world. So. Hopefully, next time around, we will we'll actually go around Dukong Village and see what they have to do. So it's a click adventure. All right. All right, guys. So this is the Dandy Man signing off for now. I hope to see you all in the next video. Ta-ta for now.